Hey everyone, how are things? My name is Vinicius Deschamps and in today's video I'm going to show how to find and delete unattached disks using Azure Portal. So as you can see here, I have two virtual machines, VM1 and VM2. Each of them created with managed and unmanaged, unmanaged disks. As soon as I delete the VMs, the disk was will remain intact and incurring costs to your Azure subscription. And in order to prevent that, you must find the disks and delete them. Microsoft says the disk deletion does not happen while removing the VM to avoid data loss if the VM is deleted accidentally, just in case, right? So before I delete the disks, let me show where they are located and how you can identify the disks and how they are associated to your VM. So first, I'm going to the search and type storage as I'm going to find the unmanaged disks. So during the creation of the VM, I had to choose that I wanted an unmanaged disks. Uh, and then uh, I choose this storage name, STG unmanaged. So I click here and then go to containers and VHDs. As you can see, there is a VHD file here, name it VM2 and a bunch of numbers. So I will click here. And as you can see here, lease status, it says locked and lease state, it says lease it. And if I scroll down a little bit, there is the last uh, metadata key. It says Microsoft Azure compute underscore VM name and it's pointing to VM2, which means these disks, it's attached to the VM2 VM, okay? So now I will show you the managed disk. Uh, so at the search, you have to click at, uh, you have to type disks, click on it. And as you can see here, there's a disk named VM1 underscore disks, disk one underscore and a bunch of numbers as well. And as you can see here, there's an owner of this disk and it says VM1, which means the VM1 has these disks, this disk attached to it. And if I click on the disk, it says disk state, state attached. So now let's delete the VMs. So let's back to the virtual machines here. And I'm going to select both VMs and I will delete. I will type yes for confirmation. And as soon as the VMs are deleted, I will back to show you how the disks looks like. All right, the, VM, the VMs are now deleted. So let's back to the storage, typing again here at the search, storage accounts, STG and manage. I will click on the containers as you can see at VHDs and the file is still here. And as you can see here, the lease states are, is now available. Let's click on it. So lease status says unlocked and lease state available. And there is nothing in the metadata now. So I simply need to click delete. And if I have uh, blob snapshots for this file, I can check here. But as I don't, I would simply confirm with OK. Okay, the disk is deleted and we can also delete the storage account. So delete the storage account and let's just manage. Okay, delete. And during its deletion, let's go to the manage disk by typing at the search bar disks. So now this disk, uh, there is no owner on it and um, the disk states also says unattached. So I will press delete and confirm. And the difference here is, is that these managed disks don't have a storage account associated to it. It's always, all, uh, everything is controlled by Azure. So you don't have to worry to del uh, in delete the star storage account as well. So, and that was it. Uh, I hope you like it and enjoy the video. And I see you on my next video.